What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to find the greatest common factor, also known as the highest common factor. Okay, both of those are the exact same thing. So two ways you can abbreviate those are as GCF, right, greatest common factor, or as HCF, right, highest common factor. But again, they mean the same thing, okay? So let's try and find the greatest common factor between two numbers, let's say 8 and 12. Okay, well the way you would do that is by listing out the factors of each of these numbers, okay? Or in other words, think of what numbers divide evenly into each of these, okay? Or another easy way you could do that is just think to yourself, what two numbers can I multiply together to get 8? Okay, well I can multiply 1 times 8 and I can multiply 2 times 4. Okay, so that means all these numbers right here are factors of 8. So then you would just list them in order, okay? 1, 2, 4, and 8, all right? 1, 2, 4, and 8, all right? And we can do the same thing with 12, all right? What two numbers can I multiply together to get 12? Well, I can multiply 1 times 12, I can do 2 times 6, and I can also do 3 times 4, right? So again, all these numbers right here are factors of 12, so I would just list them in order. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12, all right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 12. Okay, now as you might be able to notice, uh, these two lists right here have some numbers in common, right? So for example, there's a 2 here, there's a 2 here, right? There's a 4 up here, there's a 4 up here. Okay, so these are known as common factors, right? 2 and 2 and 4 and 4. But here we're looking for the greatest common factor, right? So we want the biggest common factor. So obviously 4 is bigger than 2. So here our greatest common factor between 8 and 12 would be 4, right? That's the biggest number that they both have in common. So the GCF or HCF would be equal to 4, okay? So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try just one more. Okay, so this time we're going to try and find the greatest common factor between these three numbers, all right? 24, 30, and 36, all right? So again, just list out the factors. And we can do that again by just multiplying stuff together. So starting with 24, what two numbers can I multiply together to get 24? All right, well, there's a bunch of combinations, right? We could do 1 times 24, we can do 2 times 12, we can do 3 times 8, we can do 4 times 6, and I think that's it, okay? So then, again, we're just going to list all these numbers right here, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24, all right? So we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. Okay, and then we would just do the same thing with 30 and 36, all right? But I'm not going to multiply all the combinations out. I'm just going to list the factors right here for you, okay? So for 30, the factors of 30 would be 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30, okay? And then for 36, we would have 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 6, 9, 12, 18, and 36. Man, 36. There we go. Okay, so again, we're trying to find common factors, right? Numbers that all these lists have in common. Uh, well, let's see. They all have a 1. They all have a 2. They all have a 3. They all have... Oh, they don't all have a 4. Uh, let's see. They all have a 6. Okay. They all have a 6. Uh, do they have any other things in common that are bigger than 6? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Okay, so it looks like the biggest number that they all have in common is 6, right? So we're going to say that the greatest common factor is equal to 6. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.